so for creating a jar file first we will create a java program then we will compile it so let's say we are going with simple java program and that program is actually hello world program so we will write write it now uh, we will save this file and let's say we are saving this file on desktop okay okay so now what i will do i will compile this file okay so this program is compiled and this program uh, this compilation actually generate a class file so actually jar file is uh, created for an application where we are having one or more than one class file and we want to compress them into a single file and one another property of jar file is that it is directly executable if you have java in your system when you double click jar file it will directly execute your program so how to create it so in order to create jar file first we need to have class files and then what we have to do we have to create a manifest file because in a project it might be possible there are a number of class files but only one class file will be having main method which has to be called by interpreter so we need to specify that file so what we have to do we will create a manifest file so in that file what we need to write main class and then here we need to write what is the class which is having main method so in our previous so in our in this example the class demo is having main method so here we will write demo and then we need to give a new line so it is totally this file is having two lines but second line is not having anything we have to give this empty line at the end then we will save this file with .txt extension so let's say i am saving this file manifest.txt okay next what i have to do i will create jar file so command is jar minus cfvm so c means we are creating a jar file f means we all our uh, compressed file will be saved in a file it will not direct it to a output v means verbose output will be displayed on the screen on the terminal and m that we are specifying the manifest file so let's say we want to give our jar file name demo.jar and then we have to specify our manifest file so demo.jar this is the jar file which will be created and manifest.txt this is the file which is specifying which one is the main class and after that we have to specify name of the classes we want to compress in this jar file so we are having only single class we will write here demo. .txt. Class. In case if we are having multiple classes, we can specify one by one. Or in case all our class file in a single directory, you can write here star. So if we okay, so jar file is created. So in case if you want to run jar file, so command for running a jar file is Java jar option and demo dot jar. So here, so we have executed our program using jar file thank you very much for watching.